Get out one Aussie shooter. Now, Barrier Farrell's new laws, proposed laws, uh, to address the street violence are really, really uh, just pathetic, in my opinion. Um, now, as I understand it, the laws basically uh, state that you have to be caught by police within three hours of the incident, and you have to be uh, taken to a police station and uh, drug tested and alcohol tested. And if you come up positive for drugs uh, and you've uh, really hurt someone and maybe even killed them through violence, uh, you could face the minimum mandatory sentence. If you come up positive for alcohol, and I think you have to be uh, 0.13 or, or higher for alcohol two hours after the event. I mean, you know, um, then you could attract also the minimum mandatory sentence. So it's basically making it as hard as possible for people to attract a minimum mandatory sentence. And um, what that tells me is Barry O'Farrell really doesn't want to start building new jails to house people that are going to attract a minimum mandatory sentence. So he's making it as hard as possible to for you know for thugs to to, to get that. And uh, it shows me that the, the state is in a lot of financial trouble. And I believe it is. I believe there's a lot that we don't know. And uh, the government's really scrambling to get as much money as they can or to save as much money as they can while at the same time appease uh, public uh, uh, outcries. And uh, Robert Borsak was recently on 2UE. I'm sure many of you guys heard the interview. And it was a pretty good interview. He really laid into Barry O'Farrell and good on him for doing that. Barry, Barry deserves it. But uh, really I'm disappointed with Robert in a way because he really didn't uh, present to everyone. He had opportunity on radio that he spoke for quite, a, quite uh, a lengthy time, and he really didn't tell everyone what the shooters and fishers stand for, where, where shooters and fishers stand on other, in other policies. And I'm disappointed. I think he needs to use as much opportunity as possible to tell people where the shooters and fishers stand on a lot of uh, public policy. So yeah. Um, but anyway, regardless of that, it's a pretty good uh, interview. Now I, I really do believe also that the shooters and fishers should promote as, as often as they can to return discipline in our schools. I mean, why is it so hard to, for politicians to have a zero to, to suggest that let's have a zero tolerance approach to violence and thuggery in schools? Because that's where it all starts. I mean, you got a lot of these little young thugs in schools that are allowed to get away with literally murder, and you just can't expel them. You can't do anything about them. And I think that needs to change. So, I'm disappointed that Robert Borsak didn't talk more about that. And I'm disappointed that he didn't really uh, present everyone the shooters and fishers policy. Other than that, it was a great interview. But I am a bit sus on this interview because I thought that they would have been using Robert Borsak a bit to try and lay into Barry O'Farrell. Because let's face it, shooters and fishers, we, you know, they've got an axe to grind with Barry O'Farrell. And rightfully so. And I think that 2UE would have been using Robert Borsak uh, to create a lot of negative press for Barry uh, so that they can try and um, get a few more Labor seats up in the next election. So anyway, but um, look, the, the, the state is definitely in a lot of financial trouble. Barry O'Farrell is in a lot of trouble. I think if he does win the, the next election in 2015, it'll be by whisker. And... Um, Certainly, it's a great opportunity for minor parties to step up. I mean, uh, Shooters and Fishers and uh, LDP uh, and, and others should be campaigning as hard as possible. And certainly, uh, I would hope that the LDP and Shooters and Fishers will definitely preference the Greens very dead last in the next, in the next election because I'll be disappointed if they don't. But anyway, guys, this is Ozzy Shooter signing out. And uh, keep a lookout for me. Many of you guys know that I am Jason's co-host in uh, the Australian Hunting Podcast show, Straight Shooting. Uh, so if you like the show, if you have any comments regarding the show, please let us know. We want to make the show as good as we possibly can for you law-abiding firearm owners out there. So we can hopefully we can make a difference in this country. All right, guys, I'll just shoot us signing out, and I'll see you guys later.